Okay, now I have my iron out. Okay. And I'm going to iron the tape and then end, end up ironing the whole wing on the lower surface, especially. The first thing I'm going to do is iron the tape down so it becomes permanent. And all these wrinkles are due to the fact that I just took that dihedral out of the wing. And I've got extra film here on the bottom. So I'm going to iron it all down. And it'll help hold this in position. Check out the top here. I haven't trimmed this off yet, but I will. The top is going to be wrinkled also. I'm going to have to tighten up the top. Notice I keep moving the iron. I never hold it in one position. Always move your iron continually. You don't want to heat up one section of the film because it'll tighten that section up more so than the other side. And that can cause a twist in the wing. Nice and cordial quality. Take a moment to clip off this excess tape. Give it another sight. It's looking better all the time. Looking straight in, straight in. Go back over. section again. You can take a look at the tape section and you can tell the difference in color um, where it's ironed down and where it's not. 
keep going over it until you don't see any bubbles or any discoloration, difference in color. Keep going over it until you don't see any discoloration, um, which uh, difference in color on the tape. That means that you have air bubbles underneath it, or it's just not ironed down, as well as the other section of the tape. Okay. And I'm happy with that. That took out probably 90% of it. All right. So, um, hard to do with the uh, ones the way they are. Anyways, um, okay. That's pretty flat across. And I'm sighting it down, and I've got very little diagonal comparatively as, as before. So I'm happy with that. So that's how you fix it. And you'll definitely see a performance difference. Okay, thank you.